Hello, I am Jordi, Jordi Kazamijana from Vegan FTA. And I'm just gonna tell you very briefly why I became vegan. For the animals, many decades ago, almost 21 years ago, I started being vegan for the animals. Why? Because I was a zoologist and an animal protectionist. I started zoology from a long time ago. I kind of felt very sympathy with the oppressed uh, creatures I found because I grew up into a fascist dictatorship that made me feel oppressed, so I sympathized with other oppressed creatures. And then I wanted to move away from anim from humans and because they scared me, and I wanted to be with animals, and I studied them. I became a zoologist. And by looking at them, especially when I observed wasps, because this is the first group of animals I study, wasps, I discovered that they were so similar to us and so unfairly treated. So from a study them, I moved into protecting them. I wanted to be an animal protectionist. So I left Catalonia where I was born, and I moved to the UK and I become an animal protectionist, working for animal protections for many organizations. And the more I look at the animals and the more I try to protect them, the more I realize that it made no sense for me to eat some animals and protect others, to wear some animals and protect others. So eventually I left my work for 23 days because I wanted to have a break. I went to an island in the north of Scotland and then I reanalyzed my behavior. I realized I had to be vegan. Came back from the island as an ethical vegan about 21 years ago. But that was just the beginning of my veganization because when you decide to be vegan, that's the beginning. I started to become better vegan every day to explore the vegan mansion. I like to call it the vegan mansion because it's a huge place for everyone and everyone can live in it. And I entered the vegan mansion first by the guide, gateway of animals, animal rights, but there are other gateways, there are five gateways. The next one I explored, the rooms I explored in the mansion were the environmental rooms. I am also a vegan for the environment. And I spent a few years there, 10 years after having decided to become vegan, I explored another section of the mansion, the health section. There is a gateway there, some people enter through that gateway. And I become also a health vegan because I like uh, uh, whole meal food. So that's what I eat and I feel much healthier now. But then later on, I explore also the social justice a gateway and rooms of the mansion that I found incredibly interesting and really I enjoy them. And I'm really looking at the rooms right now. So I'm still learning about that. And recently, very recently, I started to explore this uh, spirituality rooms and uh, that's the fifth dimension which is the first the first gateway in, uh, into that dimension was spirituality religion and things like that millennia ago veganism already existed not with the word vegan but the concept existed through religions and religious cults and things like that later on it became secularized but at the beginning it was all about that and i'm, I'm exploring now i'm learning because i wrote this book ethical vegan that made me look at the history of veganism so I'm exploring these five dimensions now, and perhaps there are more that haven't discovered that, because this mansion is enormous. Everybody should live in it. There's room for everybody. So when you become vegan, like, as I did uh, many times ago, the only thing you do is you decide that you're going to adopt this philosophy. But there is a lot of things you have to change, a lot of point of views that you have to look into, a lot of behaviors that you have to modulate. You have to make decisions about gray areas, or how you're going to respond to that, things that not everybody responds in the same way. So it's a process. It's a process that never ends. It begins with the moment you say, I am vegan, that's the minimum you can do, ends with the rest of your life.